This is a WTJX News Brief. A Senate committee approved by a 5-2 to two vote a bill that would require owners of shoreline property to provide suitable public access. The legislation calls for fines if owners fail to comply. Now, the Planning Natural Resources Commissioner, Oriol, indicated the measure may be unconstitutional and, if the bill is written, would hold up under the Fifth Amendment's Taking Clause, which says private property cannot be taken for public use without just compensation. The bill and proposed amendment not once does it address the compensation, Oreo went on to say. With respect to liability, if a third party is injured while using the public access, then who's going to be liable for the injury, the government or the property owner, he asked. The legislation was advanced to the rules in judiciary for further action. Port Authority Director Carlton Dow explains at a Senate hearing how funds used to upgrade the in an eyed pond lot must be used for a particular purpose. The authority strongly opposes this bill as it will negatively impact essential marine revenue and it will be detrimental to the authority's ability to meet its financial obligations. We are a self-sustaining autonomous government agency that owns and manages the U.S. Virgin Islands airports and seaports. By law, we are required to charge user fees to fund our port operations, maintain our facilities, and to expand and modernize the territory's travel infrastructure. Apart from federal grants received primarily from the uh, Aviation Division, Viper's main source of revenue is the fees we charge the users of the facilities. The ENI Pond gravel lot had been populated with unsightly abandoned vehicles over the years. The lot was essentially a junkyard and unsafe to be used as a public parking facility. Viper removed dozens of derelict vehicles and equipment from the lot and spent $400,000 to clean the lot, add 50 additional spaces, regrade, resurface uh, and resurface the lot with gravel and erect new fencing lighting, parking, and security equipment. The lot now has 200 parking spaces available and is open from 5.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. daily. The Governor Juan Luis Hospital and Medical Center used the Exact Tech GPS-guided personalized surgery technology. Exact Tech is the latest advancement in technology that provides surgeons with real-time visual guidance and alignment data in total knee surgery. According to the interim CEO, Ms. Williams, Juan Luis Hospital is looking to the future for innovations that will move healthcare forward. Also, Dr. Jeffrey Chase, who performed the surgery, says he successfully performed six total knee replacements and one total hip replacement at JFL using the technology. The goal is to have our patients recover with minimal discomfort, a minimal hospital stay, and minimal risk. That's your WTJX News Brief. I'm Doug Harris.